Welcome to Rainbow Network Media. Please kindly subscribe to this channel for interesting news. Thank you all for listening. On Monday, the 5th of July, 2021, the police command in Abia State had revealed plans by some individuals and groups of persons to stage protests in the state. In a release by its public relations officer, S.P. Godfrey Obona, the public command advises intending protestants to disease or postpone such exercise forthwith. According to the police command, this has become necessary as hoodlums or miscreants may hijack the process to unleash mayhem on the lives and property of innocent citizens. It disclosed that the security operatives in the Abia state had been placed on red alerts as the command would not tolerate any acts capable of truncating the peace in the state. However, an investigation conducted by the reporter on Wednesday revealed that the Abia police claimed came on the heel of the vows by some diehard members and supporters of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop, Nandi Kano, to stage protests in the southeast zone, especially Abia. Nandi Kano, who is, a, in the, who is an indigene of Isiama Afaruko Ibeku in Abia was recently re-arrested and repatriated from Kenya to Nigeria to continue treasonable felony charges preferred against by the Nigerian police. Abubakar Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, who confirmed the development, had said the IPOP leader was arrested by a combined team of Nigeria and foreign security agents in a coordinated interception. Against this backdrop, he was dragged before Justice Binta Nyaku of an Abuja Federal High Court for the continuation of his trial. Justice Nyako, after listening to Kanu and the government, remanded him in the custody of the Department of State Service, DSS. Recall that Kanu had a few years ago jumped bail and escaped out of the country after Nigerian soldiers invaded his Afaraku country home in 2017. Nandi Kanu's indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, which agitates for a separate state for ethnic Iwus in southeast Nigeria, has been labeled a terrorist organization by Nigerian government. In an interview with the reporter against the backdrops of the policy's claim on the planned protests in Abia, Mwa Bweze, a die-hard member of the Kanun's Pro Biafra Group, berated the security agency for infringing on the rights of the people as guaranteed by the Constitution and international law. Omenihu said the security agency can only succeed in unleashing its brutality on them but can never kill the quest for self-determination, insisting that the Probafra group is on, on the third in marching to condemn the alleged adoption of Nandekanu. According to the IPOP faithful, their claim is not surprising to us. After all, is there anything wrong for people to exercise their right in frowning at the illegitimate action of the current government? Let me tell you, thousands of policemen and soldiers, coupled with their evil antics and propaganda, as well as classification of IPOP as a terror organization, cannot jeopardize our struggle for secession. The ill treatment currently being meted to our leader, Namdi 
Kano by the Nigerian government under the headship of Major General Muhammadu Buhari is unacceptable. We are marching for justice and fairness. You are living witness that IPOP is not violent and only that we want to go separate ways due to the long age marginalization of our people by the Fulani Caliphate at the helm of affairs of this nation since the independence of this zoo called Nigeria. Fulani in Nigeria government at the Asso Rock are dishing all manner of wickedness and propaganda against IPOP and our leader. Another member of Nandikanu uh, said the claim by the police that the group was intending to unleash havoc under the guise of the planned protest. He noted that the law of the land confers on people the right for expression against some unlawful activities of government, urging the security agents whom he stated had turned to Mondrod's squad to respect the fundamental right of the people seeking for separation. As far as I am concerned, False claim by police or other security agencies cannot deter us from seeking a right. I am not surprised by the claim. It is only in Nigeria. You can see the right of the masses not being respected. We demand from the government and her security agencies to toll the parts of law as anything short of that will be confronted squarely and in a peaceful manner we are tired of this zoo called nigeria so guys uh the people of uh namdikano said the protest they intend to carry out must uh be done they said everyone has right uh, has rights to exercise their rights. So the uh, security agencies should not uh, prevent them from the protest. They said police cannot stop them from protesting. So guys, what do you think concerning the Abia protest that is about uh, to be carried out by the IPOP members? Let's know your thoughts, your views are highly welcome. Please drop your comments at the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you all for listening.